And today I'm going to show you how to use CSS selectors cheat sheet for automation tests. So let's click on it and start reading all the notes because they're super helpful. So know that you can test all of these selectors highlighted in the dark on the same page. Simply do the right click, inspect, then you do command F. Let's close this uh, uh, unused window. So command F will open up this search box where you can start typing your shit. <clears throat> so let's go through each of the selectors. First one, select simplest ID tag, aka ID main. So we can, we're gonna copy this, boom, sh paste it, boom. Sh so please ignore first one as that's the text right here. You can see that it's a span, but instead click on the second one. Uh, I mean, click the arrow down and you will see this highlights the entire uh, box right here, which is, which has ID main. So this one is a unique element here. It shows two of them just because I have a text right here, but usually, I mean, almost always IDs are unique. So uh, that's the best one to go with. If you don't have one, you can look at the classes, which is the second thing that we're going to go to. So second one selects all elements with class post area post and you are correct. You need to add dots instead of spaces if you use classes. So let's copy, uh, let's copy the entire thing, paste it in here. And we can, uh, we can see that this one is unique as well because we have only one element on the page. So our automation is going to like it. Uh, just, uh, just to double check it with you guys, if you are, looking for this class you're gonna be uh you're gonna be let me delete it from here you're gonna be checking it like oh okay i gotta click on this element you're like what the heck do i do with it so you copy it here paste it and then you put a dot before it and also instead of the spaces we always put dots if it's a class only that's it game over so third one it will be a combination of two elements Will a combination of ID my article and a div in front of it. So once again, we copy here, go back down to search box, box pasted, and we're gonna find div that has an ID in it. So at the beginning, if we delete it, we're gonna say div is gonna show us 26 divs because we have a lot of them. But if you say div, that has an ID my article, it will be only one of them. Um, let's go to the next one, which which be the, pretty much the same thing, but with a class. And as I just told you before, if we're using class, we're putting dots um, in, uh, instead of the spaces. Uh, looks like we even have to do that with a div, because if we put a space, it's not gonna find it for some reason. Well, let's just use it this way. Uh, so the next one is my favorite. That's what I really like. Uh, this one basically can choose. You can choose any element with the square brackets. That's the best one so far. Because let's go through anything. Um, let's say uh, ooh, let's find something really weird. Something like this one right here. Source. Actually, this one is a JavaScript. It's a bad example. Uh, let's go into header, P, boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's go to this one right here, class. It doesn't even matter if it's a class, we can copy it and put it inside of the square brackets. Boom, it finds it, even though we have a six of them. So anything, but this, the best example is right here. Let's delete it just so it wouldn't be highlighted. So that's a data original title. Uh, so usually you don't see this kind of text, but it is a unique tag. So we can copy it, put a square bracket, paste it, and our square bracket on the top, boom. Let's go to the next one. So someone called all of these pseudo selectors. Don't forget to try it out on this page. Uh, I like them a lot because we, with the last one, you can choose anything by number. So it doesn't have to be unique. Uh, if you find a unique parent or grandfather or grand 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 grandparent, whatever you want to call it, um, uh, you can start going down from grandparent to parent and then to child, and you can choose a child by number. I'm skipping the first and the second and the last child. You will see why. So copy paste boom, child. Uh, 
let's see let's start let's start building from zero so we have an id come on show me the id damn it damn it there we go that's the id we were looking for id top and let's say we want to click on this class arrow but how but it let's say that this is not a unique element but we need to find it somehow then we go to its parent and they're like okay parent is also not unique so we go to grandparent the grandparent like oh there's an id top so we're going to start from id top and then we're going to go down uh so id top has an anchor uh, right below it so that's its child so we're going to put space a now we're at the child uh at the parent level of class arrow so then we're like okay so this guy has two childs one of them uh, both of them are divs so let's pay attention to div only um actually we can even ignore the div so we just put a space we say uh colon and child and we put a number one like okay so we've chose the first child of anchor right here of uh, of the grandparent with ID top as you can go from the back here first child of a uh, which is a child of ID top and we can also change it to two which will be the second one we can also change it to three which will be the third one but it unfortunately doesn't exist so we don't really need it go back to two or one uh, same thing we do uh, same thing we do with the last child and the first child it would just simply go to the last one or the first one honestly I never use them because I can always choose by number and here's my number booms so now with all of this knowledge you guys can crash any page I mean I've automated Instagram myself they've been changing it a lot but I still keep my automation alive. All right, thanks for your attention. Please let me know if something goes wrong. My email is at the bottom of this page. It's admin at kiolesson.com. Love you, bye-bye.